Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lasty here and welcome back to another squad builder. Today is going to be a whopper. It's about 3.3 million coins. Uh, if you're looking to buy coins, UT Coin Shop is the place to go. Their links are all in the description below. But let's get started on today's video. As I said, we're going to be rocking uh, a really expensive team today. We're going to be using the 41212 and let's get started with our goalkeeper. Uh, today we're going to be using the transferred card of Diego Lopez, the Spaniard who now plays for Real Madrid, who in my opinion should probably keep the number one spot after seeing him uh, play against Man U the other night. He made some crazy saves and I've never really rated Casillas too much. Uh, so Diego Lopez, really, I'm really fond of him, a decent keeper indeed. Uh, on FIFA, he's, he's alright, he's got uh, good handling and positioning, but sometimes his uh, reflexes can be a little left to be desired, but he saved that penalty right there, and he'd done, he'd done very well for me, but then sometimes, uh, like the keeper I used yesterday, I believe it was um, Sirigu in form, he was a bit of a mixed bag, sometimes he let, like I was playing FIFA Raw, Sam, my buddy, um, and he was just shocking against him, but then sometimes when I'm playing like, online in the tournaments and stuff, he was just really good. Uh, so, bit of a mixed bag. The right back we're going to use today is Rod Fanny's Inform card. Uh, he was really good. 85 pace, 78 defending, 74 head heading. Not the best of stats there. Really good pace. He's got not very good acceleration, but 92 uh, sprint speed in general. So that's really good. He's also 6 foot 1, which is pretty good. And very, very cheap at 19k for an inform. Uh, in the 41212 position, uh, he didn't do an awful lot for me, which basically means he didn't do an awful lot wrong. Uh, if if someone doesn't really stand out for me, then obviously they've done their job not too bad, but just hasn't really shone. Um, obviously, you notice the players which do terrible. Uh, our left back here is going to be the second in form, Alaba. Alaba? Alaba, I don't know. Alaba from uh, Bayern Munich, the Austrian. He's got some cool stats there, really good across the board. 87 pace being one of the standout ones and really great passing from him. He costs a shit ton because there's not many left backs in the Bundesliga. 142k uh, I bought him for, I think I managed to sell him for 150 last night. So uh, just about made my money back on him, I think. Uh, he was... He, he scored a couple of goals for me, but I could not find the clips anywhere. And this is what I'm talking about right here. He's good at defending, but then he's not quite strong enough to really hold it up. And then he he has to, you know, utilize that pace to actually get the ball back again. So not the best of left backs, but he was all right anyway. Uh, our first centre back here is just going to be the regular Pepe, the Portuguese man, put uh, the Portuguese. From Real Madrid, uh, 74 pace, 84 defending, and 82 heading. Really, really solid card. Um, I don't ever see the need to use his inform card. It's no different to me. I've used it before and didn't find any difference. Uh, six foot two, which is not too bad at all. He's quite attacking though, um, but you know he's got the good pace to help him get back and help defend. Uh, I just get on very well with Pepe. I hate him in real life. He seems to be. An absolute drama queen uh, when Real Madrid play, especially in El Clasico matches. But uh, he's he's really good on FIFA, so you know you're just going to use him, really, aren't you? He's a threat from uh, from corners, as you can see there. Rose like a salmon to head that one in. Uh, and to partner him, we're going to be using his teammate, which is the newly in form uh, Varane, uh, who looks to be a really cool young talent. Rafael Varane, the Frenchman who now plays for Real Madrid. Uh, 65 pace isn't the best. I believe it should be more. After seeing him play a couple of times, he looks to be quite rapid in real life. So maybe maybe in a future in form he could get some extra pace boost. But 81 defending and 79 heading on 6 foot 3 is pretty good. Uh, he cost me 50k because I bought him on Friday. And now I think he's down to about 30, so I'm going to lose out some money on him. I might keep him in my club, just hope he rises a little bit, but who knows what we'll do. But he was solid. Uh, you know, you have Pepe next to him with that pace, and also Rod Fanny on the right back. So he's got enough pace around him, and he seems solid enough. So that 65 doesn't doesn't hurt him too much. Uh, the, the CDM we're going to go with in this 41212 is a real beast. The inform Musa Sissoko. Uh, 86 pace and then 70s across the board. He is really, really solid. Unfortunately, he's let down a little bit by two-star skills, but what do you really need from your CDM? 
Uh, two goals in the 10 games that I played. And I, both, I believe they both came in the same game. Uh, 71.5k paid for him because he's so solid in this league. I imagine if you played a BPL squad with him and like David Luiz in CDM, you would be laughing. It would absolutely boss the show. Uh, and as I say, nice goals coming up here. Just He's got a really solid, powerful shot on him, which is great because uh, playing in that CDM role, he can do this. Just look at that. Lovely shot to go in. Uh, a beastly volley. Uh, great player. Really enjoyed his card. Uh, the right mid, as you probably may have guessed, we're going to be using the Frenchman. Uh, it is going to be Hatem Ben Arfa, Sissoko's teammate. He has got 5-star skills and a 4-star weak foot. We all know that Ben Arthur is great. Cost me 7k because I bought him in the right mid 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, I believe that was probably the cheaper way of doing it. He scored 5 goals in 12 games from right mid, which is pretty good. Normally I rely on my left and right mid just for assists in the 4-1-2-1-2, but he did alright. 83 pace, 86 dribbling, and a really nice left-footed shot. Obviously then 5-star skills there, and lovely little McGeady, and I can't believe that that goal went in. Uh, that was a finesse shot as well, which never goes in in FIFA 13. Uh, but, yeah, he, he's, he never does me wrong, does Ben Arthur. He's a great player. Looking forward to him hopefully getting an inform card sometime this season. I don't think he's, he's been doing too well. But look at that mistake there from my mate Jamie. <laughs> he, the keeper automatically came out. He passed it out. Went straight to me and I thought, right, I'm going to take advantage of that and smashed it in. So the left midfielder we're going to use today is the god that I absolutely love on this game. The regular card of Frank Ribéry. You don't need the inform. He's 90 rated already. He's got 93 pace and dribbling already. Uh, 83 passing as well. He did cost me 584k and when I sold him, I sold him for 608k last night. So I think I just lost out a little bit on tax, but that's not too bad. Uh, four star weak foot and five star skills. He's a god. He actually scored six goals in 12 games for me this time, which as I say is very good. I normally just rely on the uh, the left and right mids for the assists. So this team was quite goal scoring. I actually got a lot of goals and, and won a lot of games with this team. So that was really good to see. Um, um, one of the most fun teams I've used it since the uh, Di Natale and Balotelli squad. Uh, but this this is a rival for for the you know the best squad I've used I believe. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this guy in, shall we? The third in form cam position, crazy stats on him, Gareth Bale. Uh, he is he has turned absolutely wonderful this season. He's got such a good card on Ultimate Team. He's playing really well in the Premiership. 94 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 77 defending and 74 heading, 4 star skills and weak foot. He's 6 foot tall so he has an aerial presence. 7 goals in 13 games from the cam position is not maybe as good as I'd hoped for but uh, you know you could play him up front and he would get over a goal a game. But he does this an awful lot, he gets through, makes a surging run and absolutely powers it into the top corner. Like as you can see uh, right here, actually no, this is really funny. Look at that terrible keep in there by Diego Lopez. <laughs> that was also against Jamie. Crazy stupid keeping. But he does this all the time, surges through and once he's through like that, you're not going to catch him. Uh, and a lovely, lovely left third finish. Uh, nice work here by our striker. Manages to cross the ball in, knocks it down from our other striker and then an easy right footed finish. Because uh, his weak foot is pretty good. But as I say again, through on goal, you're not going to catch him. Uh, and simple finish into the back of the net. He's just really, really good. Probably not worth the 2 point something million. I paid 2.2 uh, and I sold him for 2.45 last night. So I actually made about 125k on him, which was really good. I thought I was going to lose out loads. Um, but he's quite rare. So I, I would recommend him if you've got that much money. But... Uh, you could probably do just as well with you know somebody else, uh, but he is very very good. Then the first striker we're going to use today is the man of the match, Emmanuel Adebayor, Gareth Bale's teammate here. He's got four star skills. He's six foot three. He's got 80 shooting, 84 heading. Not the best of pace at 74, but 16 goals in 12 games from him is really good. Um, he was in the right place at the right time an awful lot of the time and has also got a really nice shot from outside the box. Uh, Jamie kept telling me that he can't shoot, he can't do anything, you'll never score from outside the box with him. 
uh, until I, you know, smashed this home against him and told him to shut up, pretty much. Um, <laughs> there we go. Gave him the shush because he scored from outside the box. Uh, but he's a really, really solid player. Like right here, you give if that defender gives him that much room, there's just you know, only one outcome, and it's going to be in the back of the net. Uh, lovely finish. He does it time and time again. He scores obviously more than a goal a game for me, which is fantastic. Uh, and he's very agile for someone who's so big. Uh, which is cool. Um, I've obviously got loads of goals to show you here, so I think this one might be the last one. Uh, the defenders just get absolutely baited, and he runs straight past them into the top of the net. So that was added by all. Really, really recommend him if you could have the coins to give him a try. And then to partner him, we've got the beast that is Sergio Aguero. Uh, just an incredible, not in form card. He's so good 88 pace, 91 dribbling, 84 shooting. 4-star skills and weak foot, but it feels like a 5-star weak foot. 14 goals in 12 games, so not quite as good performance as Adebayor, but still an incredible performance. 84,000 coins paid for him, uh, and working up top with Adebayor being the big tall guy to knock it down, and then Aguero to sprint through and finish, is just, like, look at that, that's his left foot. That Don't tell me that's not a 5-star weak foot, he is incredible. Um... But he's just got a really, really powerful finish. And it goes in the top corner pretty much all the time. Really great player. This was quite cool. Um, not quite acrobatic enough. But, you know, that was a fairly cool little goal uh, to seal that win. Um, but right here, I believe the defender just... The keeper doesn't come out. And Aguero is like, fine, I'm going to sprint to that and just power it in again with that weak foot. Really solid player. And I think this is the last goal. My favourite finish of the lot, oh, lovely finish, lovely half volley taken sublimely by Aguero. So that is basically the squad, uh, it's pretty beastly, I really really enjoyed this team. Uh, it costs around, we'll wait for that to come up, 2 point, no 3.2 million, 3.3 million. Probably if you're going to buy bail now it's about 3.4, 3.5 million. But a really, really solid team. Let's shoot for maybe a 1,000 likes again, just for this crazy team. Uh, love your feedback, guys. Uh, it means so much to me. It makes me motivated to make more videos. Come follow me on Twitter. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.